Hello Capricorn, this is Dawn Priolat and this is your Love Tarot reading for the time period of March 5th until April 5th. And first of all, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and also for signing up for my email list on my website because um, that will give you immediate access to whenever I'm doing a radio show for example like tomorrow <laughs> where I'm doing free readings and you can actually <clears throat> send in your questions and I will send you the link because even if you can't attend the radio show live you can always uh, I will send you a link for the recording of it so you'll still be able to get the answers to your personal questions. So, because this is a general reading, Capricorn, um, you may have more specific questions. That's one way that you can get uh, some questions answered. So, the other thing I want to offer you that I've offered to all the other zodiac signs is a free uh, love map session. You can only get it up until March 15th. So go to my website, www.dawnpriolette.com. Check for the link underneath in the description box, okay? The link will be right there. Um, that session is really going to help you to start releasing the blocks to you finding the love of a lifetime. And this reading that I'm about to do for you is, is called the How to Find Love Spread. Now, whether you already have someone in your life or if you're looking for someone, um, even if you have someone, we can always use improvements. So um, that's what, you know, this is going to focus on whatever might be blocking you. So to get right into it, this is uh, from the Healing with the Angels cards by Doreen Virtue. This is Angel Guardian. This is uh, your guardian angel. So it's your guardian angels want you want you to know that they are near you. Even though sometimes you're going through a lot of pain and you feel like you're alone, they want you to know that you are never alone. And that if you can remain calm, do some EFT tapping <laughs> if you're upset or sad, and then you'll be more able, once you're calm, you'll be much more able to hear the guidance that is coming to you at all times. And the second card that came up for you was Armonia, which came up in the reverse. So that's telling me that right now, for you Capricorn, um, maybe you're not experiencing some harmony in certain areas. They're telling me work for some of you. Um, I'm hearing disputes, um, maybe some arguments. Um, so some of you are not having some harmony right now. But look at this one. Nuevo Amor. Now so far Capricorn you guys are the only ones that have gotten this card. This is new love. So, if you are already in a relationship, it may be that the two of you are going to experience um, a re maybe a renewal of your vows or a renewal of your love for each other. You're going to experience, you know, it's we're coming into springtime and um, it just feels like you're going to be experiencing either a new person or a new love within the relationship you're already in. Um, you know, you're going to be thinking a lot about why you chose this person to begin with, and the relationship is going to improve. Or if you've been looking for love, it looks like this is going to be the month for you, Capricorn. So congratulations on that. Now, getting into the Rider Weight deck, the first card that is coming up is representing you and your energy. 
the energy that's surrounding you right now. And indeed, the Six of Swords would suggest that you are actually moving into calmer waters. So whatever has been troubling you, it looks like it is beginning to be a thing of the past. And this kind of confirms it, the Five of Swords. It's in the reverse, so I mean it appears that the, some of the dispute and the argument might still be there, but I think that is um, coming to an end, and there is going to be more peace and more harmony. Uh, the next card, uh, this has to do with um, your behavioral patterns, uh, which influence your love life. And uh, the High Priestess, she came up upright. This is a really good card. Um, this is telling me that your intuition is right on. You're feeling very connected with spirit. Your guardian angels, which is good because you need that right now. Um, and the Hierophant, wow. I'm wondering for some of you, because sometimes the Hierophant can mean that a marriage, um, you know, it might be a marriage proposal, and that would kind of go along with the new new love, because if you're already in a relationship, um, that would be, you know, something that would be kind of rekindling your love, is a, a marriage proposal. And so they're just saying, you know, use your intuition about that because your intuition is very good. Um, and the Hierophant also sometimes represents, you know, the church, the institutions like colleges and um, traditional values. And it may be, you know, for some of you that you do have these traditional values and this is what you've been wanting is marriage. Now the next card coming up is, this represents the areas that need further growth in your life. So you got to get yourself out of the trap that you put yourself in. You know, the Eight of Swords means that, you know, you, you are in a trap of your own making. Because in order to let this new love in, the Page of Cups, this is an offering of love. But in order to let this new love in, you know, you've got to get yourself out of your, <laughs> I just heard your stinking thinking. Because swords are all about your thoughts, it's mental activity, it's all something that you've created up in your head, okay? So let the love come in, Capricorn. Uh, next card up, this represents an area in your life that you need to change in order to have the love in your life, the love of your life come into your life. Um, wow. Seven of Swords. Sometimes this is the Lion Cheating card, but I just heard is that you got to stop running from it. You got to put your fears behind you and stop trying to sneak away from the situation. Um, when the going gets rough, you know, face the situation, be honest, be honest about your feelings, um, you know, have honest conversation, because this can be, you know, a card about dishonesty and not wanting to deal with the truth, or, and sometimes it's, it's um, not being honest with yourself even. Um, the other thing about this, the Eight of um, Pentacles, now this is a love reading, so um, what I'm feeling with that, that is that they're saying you need to work on, work on this, um, this thing about not walking away when the going gets tough. They're also saying that for some of you, um, you have a tendency towards... Um, passive aggressive behaviors like when you get pissed off about something you'll just stop talking to people especially your partner and that is not the way to handle it <laughs> so you're going to need to work on um, you know honest communication 
but that also means that you have to communicate your feelings before you're ready to blow your top and you might want to do some EFT tapping so that you can calm down. Now the last card is the six of pentacles and this is the area in your life that you need to really liberate uh, well within yourself. Um, this is about balance in the relationship. Remember I just said you know don't don't let yourself get to the point where you're going to explode. The Empress she's in the reverse and this is telling me that you feel like you've been walked all over. You're giving way too much in the relationship and there needs to be more balance. There needs to be more give and take. You need to feel like you are also being cared for and taken care of and not always the one who's doing all of the work. And that is a pattern within you that needs to be let go of. Okay? So, again, if you want to start working on some of these patterns as well as finding out whatever else that you have going on personally, Capricorn, again, please stop by my website. Uh, sign up for the Love Map session with me. It's completely free, um, only until March 15th, so don't delay with that, okay? Because I can show you how you can start to release these some of these patterns that you have. So, um, with that, uh, thank you Capricorn, and I hope to talk to you soon.